record for us like that? I saw it. For our senior like project. What? They're going to record us for our senior project. Like, no. no, that's if you want to do a video as part of your senior project. Like okay, so uh, let me I've see. Where's the CD? Videos. Okay, so this is the Ultimate Boot CD. It says UBCD on it. That's why it's called the Ultimate Boot CD because I didn't name it. They did. Uh oh, that's unhealthy. But it is. It's gonna explode. Oh, I don't have a keyboard in it. That here, I need a keyboard too. Give us a keyboard built in there. Yeah, I already got all my videos. Now I'm gonna need one of those adapters. No. What's yours? Do adapters. Pull dancers. No. You're good, man. Hi. Okay, what? It's an easy psycho. Where's the power port? You just you threw it down. Oh, you plugged it over there. Okay, I didn't see where you plugged it in. You are <laughs> crazy. Calm down. Why is it plugged in way over here? It's like you're trying to kill me. Okay. Yeah. I can see that. You're trying to so, kill two things. Number one, do I have it plugged in the right video? Oh yes, goodness. I do. We should be getting video. There we go. Number one, if it doesn't, you want to go into BIOS. Why are we going into BIOS? To change the, change boot, the boot order. To make sure the boot order Perhaps, is right. Um, F1, F2. Okay. What buttons do we have? It's either delete F1 or F2. If it's a Dell, it's F2. Almost always. I've never seen a Dell not be F2. So you want to go, in this case, we're going to go to boot and check the boot sequence, what boot device. Where are we at? What are you looking for? The boot sequence. You don't know how to get there. Boot. Where are we at on this one? <laughs> boot configuration. No. Nope, not that one. <laughs> Anybody see it? No. I saw it back on that first thing, it looked like it was there. Okay. Right there. Boot. See, it says. That's boot device. Oh, okay. Okay, there we go. So we've got the CD ROM, and then the hard drive. What kind of hard drive is it? S2. C tool. C gate. It's a C gate hard drive, okay? So um, it's going to boot from it first, so it's going to just hit escape to get out of here. This car changes, yes, yeah, so it should boot from our CD. So that has to be first. Okay, so this is the it's the CD drive's got to be before the hard drive. How do you change it again? I can't remember. Depends on the one. You either use it says on the side plus down, or sometimes you hit enter. Okay. Anyway, so we've already done this test, right? We've done the memory test. The, so now we're going to learn how to do the hard drive test. Does anybody have any questions on the memory test? Just wait till it gets past the first test. Yeah, as long as it passed after the first pass. Now we'll hit exit. How do we get back to this? You hit control to delete again or reboot. You can't just come back to it. Yet. But it's done with the memory test. Now I will tell you this. Wait, I thought the memory test. Okay. I hit enter on the memory and then I go to. It's going really slow. There we go. Windows Memory Diagnostic. If I'm trying to do a whole room with Caleb, as soon as it starts the Windows Memory Diagnostic, I can pop my disk out and go to the next machine. So we do our memory and then okay. our hard drive? Or well, we here's what drive? I was going to say. I do two at a time. That one's doing memory. I put this in. I'll test this hard drive. And then I'll boot this one up and do memory. And come back over and do hard drive. So, so I do two at a time. After you start the memory test, you can take it out. And after you start the hard drive started, test. Are they two different CDs? Or as soon as the hard drive. Really? Yeah, kind of. But it, it takes more to get to the hard drive test. So that's why, why I start memory, memory and then do hard You could, but then you got to use the CD to do the hard drive, then you'd be waiting to do this hard drive, and then waiting to do okay. this hard drive. Oh, you drive. have to keep the CD up for hard drive? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It takes more. So I do a memory, get it started, put it to the next computer, do the hard drive, and then start the memory and go back and do the hard drive. So okay. anyways, we got this. So, so on, once I'm done, I have to just hit control delete. It's not done yet. What? Okay. So first of all, you go in and you see that your disk drive goes before your hard drive, and then you either do your hard drive or your memory test. Yeah, and you can, if you want to just let it boot and see, but if you let it boot and it goes to Windows, now I'm gonna shut it down and boot it back up. So it didn't take that long to go into BIOS and just check. Okay, so when I'm all done, we're pretending it's done. We're, we'll say it's on pass two, and we're all passing. You have to hit Control Delete again to get it to reboot from the CD. <clears throat> and then we're always gonna use the C Tools one unless there's some reason we feel like we need to do the other one, like it didn't pass C Tools. Okay. Now in this case it's a Seagate drive, so it doesn't matter. The C Tools one is the only one we got. So I'm going to go to the hard disk drives and hit enter. Now there's more than one thing, but we want to diagnose the hard drives. This CD, well, the reason it's called the Ultimate Boot CD, it's got tons of stuff on it. All of which is free, all of which you can download, and all of which would take you hours and hours to find. Or you just download the Ultimate Boot CD and you got it all. Okay? 
So I'm going to go to Diagnosis and hit Enter. And this is where I see all the different manufacturer tests. Okay, there's a whole bunch of them on here. Okay, so if if I had an IBM drive that I needed to test, I would do this IBM Hitachi. The Western Digital one. You always go to the newest test unless the newest test says it's too new for this hard drive. So, well, I'm good because I'm telling you. Okay, we're going to go all the way down and start with the C Tools one, and we're going to use version 2.2. The newer one's lower on the bottom. Okay, on all these tests. Okay, so we're going to go there and we're going to hit enter, and you can see back when MacStore was its own company. It owned Quantum, yeah, and then Seagate bought MacStore, so it owes, owns both of those. Okay, so I hit enter, and the program takes a little bit, and then you can see this is why I start the memory and then I go to hard drive, because it takes a little longer to load. <coughs> so you can do both at once? So I start the memory on one, and then I start the hard drive. How many CDs do you have? One for everybody. One for everybody? <coughs> so people missing, can we just have like... Oh well, yeah, we can. Okay, so this is how C Tools comes up. I accept. And then I just hit enter to accept the agreement, the yes, I understand. And then it's going to tell me what kind of drive. This is where I'd see right there if it had a WD, I know it's a Western Digital. So we're going to go that. ahead and use this test. But if it fails, then we're going to go to the Western Digital test. Okay? Because okay? it's quicker and it's easier just to test it. So right. either way, no matter what, if it has... No matter what, we're going to use this test right now. Okay, but I'm saying like if it, you, you do the C tool or whatever... And then it says the WD, but you still use the C tool even yeah. now right. until it doesn't because work. Because this test will test every hard drive. Yeah. But right. the Western Digital one will only test Western Digitals. All right. And you're going to find, even though Seagate is the biggest manufacturer, we have mostly Western Digital drives. All right. Okay. So then I just hit Enter because it's already on basic tests. And then I want to just do the short test. So I hit Enter again. And it's going to go through and run the short test. And by the way, this down? means it's a Seagate 38 gig hard drive, that's what the numbers mean. I know it's not 380, so it's a 30 um, gig hard drive. And then once it's to 100% and has it failed, we can take it out? Then we can take it out. Oh, I can actually good. take it out right now. That's what I was saying. Once I get here, I can pop the CD out, because uh, it's already loaded the program. It's not using the CD anymore. Now I can go to the next computer. It's just okay. it's easier to start the memory. All right. Okay, so it says right here, it's done, and it passed. If it failed... We're on the Western. And it's not a Seagate one or a MaxTor one. Go and do that specific test. Okay? But really, all I really care is you tell me whether that passed or failed. Because we're going to have to go back and do it anyway. What? So, no, we're, we're doing lab 209 right now. We're going to go over there and do 209. They did 210. Okay? No, here's what the plan is. So don't worry.